Welcome back, Aegon, to the fourth episode of Several War News Coverage. It's Cantor, and in today's episode, I'll be covering the second siege of Bloodscar. This siege, by far, is probably the bloodiest one to date. I've never seen so many gravestones laying around on the field of battle before. It was a chaotic night with a bunch of people showing up. Everywhere you turn are a bunch of new and old players taking up arms and joining this massive server war going on right now. What a fun siege it was. A big shout out to everyone that showed up. So before I get started, congratulations to Mary Jane for winning the Ember Shield skin giveaway that I did in my second episode in honor of the dev team extending the free to play period by another week. With that being said, I'll be doing a Dragon Armor giveaway in this episode. Full Q5, Feather and Stamina, Destro or Mage Dragon Set. I'll let the winner decide. So if you want a chance at winning your very own Dragon Set, just subscribe to my channel and post your in-game name in the comment section below. I'll pick the winner Sunday afternoon, the 25th, and I'll meet the winner in one of the capital cities after announcing the winner in the comment section below. A full Q5 Dragon Bag can go from anywhere to 200 to 250 gold. So if you want, if so, if you're not a hard banger, you can always sell it for a decent amount of gold, but that would bring shame and dishonor to your family and ruin your reputation in game for life. Leaving it in the bank will also have the same effect. Moving on, let's get started with the server war coverage. Okay, so what's happening right now? The server war continue and it's growing in size and it just had its bloodiest battle to date with both sides of the war taking massive casualties throughout the fight. The siege I'm covering today is the second siege of Bloodscar and the fifth siege of the server war. This siege was monstrous with both sides fielding the largest force they could muster to date and the gentlemen are no longer neutral in this war. They made their presence known by joining forces with the attackers during the siege. So will the balance of this war now shift in favor of the RLR alliance? Things could get interesting real quick. So quick breakdown of the siege. Talk about deja vu or history repeating itself because once again there was two major engagements during the siege. The battle for Hawkmoor Ridge and the battle for Bloodscar. During the last siege there was also two major engagements. So who was all involved? On the attacking side we have Reen led by Cyril and Rex. Legion led by Rygol and Dum Dum. Drifter of Aegons led by Donador Lightbringer, Ruby at Ratters led by Grimtide and King Lear, LOA led by Surtic, and new to the war we have the Gentlemen's led by Senpai Noob Striker. Estimated force size 60 to 70. On the defender side we have Defiance led by Madar, Africa led by Squanto, and Instinct led by Juicy. Estimated force size was 40 to 45. The Battle of Hawkmoor Ridge. The battle started off with the attackers for once not having the higher grounds and the defenders having control. As usual, the battle commenced with multiple barrage of R90 nuke sinks. The defenders who had the higher grounds was able to coordinate multiple massive R90 sink into the attackers, who took every barrage head on and never once did they waver under the ferocious bombardment of the R90 sinks. After withstanding several bombardments, the attackers pushed into the defenders, engaging in a full pitch battle. The battle lasted for about 10 minutes, with both sides grinding each other down, pushing back and forth into each other, and it was a hard fought battle. Being outnumbered, the defenders lost momentum and could not hold their ground. With the Bindstone going live soon, the call to retreat and regroup in Bloodscar was given and the battle lost, leaving the attackers victorious once again in the first engagement. The battle for Bloodscar. The defenders were able to retreat in an orderly manner after losing the battle at Hawkmore Ridge and regrouped in Bloodscar and a second battle for Bloodscar commenced. The attackers this time holding the higher ground north of Bloodscar. As the battle started, they shift their force to the west side of the hamlet. Unfortunately, there was no Brave Dwarf as the first casualty of the battle this time, but a quick shout out to Magnetic Man, who I think was the first to go down in this engagement. So after multiple AOE drop and bombardment of R90 sync, it looked like neither side was once again willing to engage in a full pitch battle. The defenders unwilling to push uphill with less numbers and the attackers not willing to give up the higher grounds. Cannons were dropped and the attackers started to blow up the clan stone. As this was happening, the right wing of the attacking force facing the hamlet was sucked into an engagement that led to a full pitch battle as the defenders pushed into the attackers after gaining two to three kills. So luckily this time Animal did not have to suicide into the attackers to bait them into a full engagement. Good job not dying this time Animal, we're all proud of you. After 12 intense minutes of bloody fighting, the attackers are defeated and routed off the field of battle. The outcome, after the second battle for Bloodscar, the defender goes on to winning the siege and successfully defending Bloodscar. Several war status. After the Bloodscar Siege, the defenders have successfully defended against three sieges, lost one, and tied one out of five. Will they go on the offensive once again? It's still free to play. Log on and find out what will happen next. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. And until next time, guys.